The speed of sound on Mach number. What is the speed of sound? How do you measure it? And what's the difference between the speed of sound on Mach number? We will answer all these questions today, and by the end of this video, you will know exactly how fast your plane travels in relation to the speed of sound. You could also know how fast your vehicle travels in relation to the speed of sound if you want. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> what is the speed of sound? The speed of sound is the speed that the sound wave travels through the air. And it is important to know that the speed of sound changes based on the temperature. It's not constant. At sea level, the speed of sound is approximately 667 knots. But if you would go a little bit higher, say 10,000 feet, the speed of sound will be less than that. Why? Because it's colder. When it's colder, the air molecules are less active and when it's warmer, the air molecules are more active. So what would happen if you traveled faster than the speed of sound? What would happen? You'll break through something called the sound barrier. We're not gonna be talking about the sound barrier in details in this video, but I want you to understand how the speed of sound differ based on the temperature. At sea level, in a standard temperature day, 50 degrees Celsius, the speed of sound is 667 knots. If you traveled 668 knots or more, you will break through the sound barrier. My sister just broke the sound barrier, sir. Now, at 10,000 feet, let's say if the temperature is minus five, the speed of sound will be more like 640 knots. So if you travel at 641 knots or more, you will break through the sound barrier. Warm air, higher speed of sound. Cold air, lower speed of sound. Oh, that's easy. Let's talk about Mach number. What is Mach number? And what's the relation between Mach number and the speed of sound? Name and relation. Mach number is the ratio of your speed to the speed of sound. So to calculate Mach number, you need to divide your speed by the speed of sound at your altitude. Give me an example. Okay, let's take an example. If you were flying at 5,000 feet and your speed is 300 knots, the speed of sound at that altitude is 600 knots. And you wanna calculate your Mach number, you need to divide your speed, which is 300 knots, by the speed of sound, which is 600 knots, that will give you 0 0.5. That means you're traveling at half the speed of sound. Now let's assume that your speed is 600 knots and the speed of sound is also 600 knots. You would divide 600 by 600, that will give you Mach 1. That means you're traveling at the speed of sound. That's easy! Last thing we're gonna be talking about is Mach number classifications. Anything below Mach 0.75 is called subsonic speed and that's the speed the commercial airplanes travel at. Between 0.75 to 1.2 is called transonic speed. And this speed is associated with the military jets. Between Mach 1.2 to 5.0 is called supersonic speed. And this one is also associated with the military jets. This is too fast, way too fast. Anything above Mach 5.0 is called hypersonic speed and that's the speed of the missiles. So here's a question for you. What is supersonic speed? If you don't know, you're not paying attention. You've got to go back and check. Actually, I'm a nice guy, so I'll just tell you. It's Mach 1.2 to Mach 5. That's it. We have reached the end of the video. I hope you learned something new today. Remember that supersonic speed? I want you to use it and hit that like button. Subscribe to reach more content about aviation. Share the video for your family and friends. And if you have any questions, any suggestions, down below in the comments. And see you next time.